A steel ball dropped onto loose, very fine sand creates a jet exceeding the release height of the ball. The impact of the ball on the sand is visualized using a high-speed camera. It is seen here that the ball creates an impact crater which collapses rapidly ejecting a very thin jet. Upon impact sand is blown away in all directions forming a splash. Then the jet emerges here with twice the impact speed. When it comes down again the jet breaks up due to the inelastic collisions of the sand particles. These are granular clusters. How does the jet form? To reveal and understand the mechanism we perform experiments in a two-dimensional setup where the jet takes the form of a sheet. A cylinder hits a layered bed of sand forming a void which collapses and the sand is driven into the air. We set up a simplified model where the walls are pushed inward by the sand pressure focusing into a jet. For a higher impact velocity the void collapses in the middle and air is entrained below. Two jets are formed now, one upward and one downward. This is indeed found in experiment and even though there is no surface tension in granular fluids an air bubble is formed. It slowly rises through the sand and upon reaching the surface causes a granular eruption. In three dimensions the eruptions are even more vigorous resembling a boiling liquid or even a volcano. In conclusion, the jet is formed via void collapse. The focus pressure pushes the sand straight up into the air and when it falls back it shows clustering. The air entrained by the void collapse erupts at the surface, completing the series of events.